Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'll be talking to you about the newest release from Charlotte Tilbury and it is her bright new anti-aging and color correcting glow booster primer. So before I go ahead and get on with the review, I want to let you know that I do have a dry skin but I tend to get oily throughout the day around my nose area and also my skin is quite sensitive. I've been trying this primer for a few days, I'm kind of um, unsure about it yet. Um, I feel like I would need to try it for about a couple more weeks. Um, I want to put some thoughts across to you anyway at this stage because, you know, it is a new product. Um, it is quite expensive as well. It's £38.50 for 40 ml of a product. So it is pricey. So as I said, I want to put some thoughts across. So you, if you're looking to buy this product, you may, you know, you can just, I might help you. I might kind of put you off buying it. Just to start off. As always, very good, beautiful packaging from Charlotte. Um, she always does a really nice packaging on her product. Um, but anyway, um, let me just show you how the formula looks. So this is how the formula looks like. So it is quite, it's not too runny, it's not too thick. It's just like a nice thin consistency. It kind of reminds me of... Um, the way it looks reminds me of the L'Oreal Lumi Primer. So the first thing I've noticed when I've opened this product and I've put it on my hand is the smell. Um, I could straight away smell um, rose and I could smell some, I could somehow smell a bit of alcohol in the product. And when I looked at the, um, at the green at least, indeed there is um, one of the um, ingredients is alcohol and also um, rose flower oil is in it um so i was a bit oh is this gonna break me out because i tend to um get breakouts from anything any products that i've got rose in it if you want to have a look at the full ingredient list of this product it is on her website so i'll go ahead and have a look whether there's something in it that you think you might potentially react to anyway um i find 100 there's been 30 women tested over four weeks and apparently 100% of them see an improvement in the skin tone and luminosity. Um, of course, as I've mentioned, I haven't tried this product long enough to comment, you know, to tell you whether my skin's been improved or not. Um, that is something I feel like you really need to test for a um, good few weeks to see whether there's been any improvement. Um, the luminosity bit, yes, as you can see in the clip right now, when I apply the primer on one of my side of face, you can see how glowy and luminous it looks. So I can definitely agree with that. Percent agree, pores and blemishes are instantly blurred. I do not have really large pores, but I do feel blur my pores a bit. Um, about the blemishes, I do, I, as you can see, I do have quite a rough redness, a few blemishes around this side of my face, um, and I don't think it blurred them at all. I do not agree with that. 100% see a visible improvement in skin discoloration and age spots. I don't have age spots. I do have a quite a lot of redness. I did not see any instant color, 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 color correcting thing. Um, so maybe if you you know tried to find a good few weeks that's when you could say your really thoughts but instantly i did not see any improvement to my redness um 100 agree the skin feels moisturized um i do not agree on that as i said i do have um quite dry skin uh when you apply the primer on first it does feel hydrating i can give it a go but so does any product that when you apply it on the skin he feels hydrating moisturizing I've noticed is that actually my skin got drier towards the end of the day and I'm wearing and I've been testing this primer with um, the IT Cosmetics CC cream and that is really to me it's quite moisturizing foundation so for it for me to see my skin quite dry um, and I felt a bit like some dry patches forming around on my face and so I do not agree with that my skin did not feel moisturizer at all if anything felt dry the description of it it says genius glow buster visibly brightens and plumps for primary younger looking coral correct complexion instantly blurring the appearance of age spots blemishes and redness so there you go it says instantly blurring the appearance of age spots blemishes and redness it did not instantly blur my redness so the reason why i half like it half don't like it um one of the reasons is because it's not moisturizing enough, as I've mentioned it. And um, what else I did not like, of course, I do not like the rose smell. I do not like the, 
you know i don't like the idea of alcohol the natural being in the uh, face product i did try it out for a few days and thankfully it didn't break me out so there you go i like about it is when i applied it i mean it definitely makes my it definitely makes your skin smooth straight away smooth this is the primer i'm wearing on right now with the it cosmetics cc cream and i feel like my skin feels like photoshop i mean this camera doesn't have any filter and you can see how smooth my skin looks like also when i wash like after i've washed my uh, makeup away before i put moisturizer on i can feel my skin feeling really smooth which is really weird i've never had anything like that after the um the primer and must be this because i have not used anything else nothing new no other new product about this primer and your new cleansers um so that was quite a weird thing to feel your skin so smooth um after wearing makeup um so it has something in it in might then improve your the way your skin looks in terms of keeping my uh, foundation not sinking into my fine lines it did a good a good job uh, because this foundation does sink into my smile lines quite a bit and it kind of um kept it at okay stage i guess it still sunk into my finance but not badly i gave you my thoughts i hope you know you can make your own decision based on on these thoughts i gave you um as i said i'll be i'll keep trying it out um but overall i can say this is definitely a good primer for normal to um uh, oily skins uh, those with dry skins i would kind of stay away with it just because i don't feel it's moisturizing enough for us and the fact it kind of gave me a bit of a um, dry patches but um yeah we'll uh, keep testing it um i hope you still um enjoyed this video and you can make some kind of decision based on my thoughts and i'll see you in my next video take care